In this Zen tutorial video, we are going to use the single channel cubes to do a multi channel capture. We will come to acquisition and we will load one of our settings single BF DAPI GFP Psi 3 Psi 5. That's our default setting with the little home icon here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to uncheck Brightfield and uncheck Texas Red and we'll come click on our DAPI. This is now selected by the gray bar here. Once I go to live, it will prompt me to go ahead and remove move to my DAPI reflector cube. Once it arrives at the position and reads the encoding, it will go live. So we can go ahead and get in focus and make an adjustment. If I click on GFP, it will ask me to advance one more to the GFP position and when it gets there, it will go ahead and it will get turned on and now I've got it in focus. If I come back to DAPI for the start of the acquisition, I'm going to bring the turret manually back to DAPI. So I'll give it just a little bit of focus since the GFP was in focus earlier. I'll say stop and when I go ahead and say snap, DAPI will be recorded. I will move a position forward to GFP and it'll automatically snap. It prompts me to move to Psi 3. I'll move forward. It'll automatically snap. And now my acquisition is done. I can go ahead and turn off DAPI and GFP. I can see my Psi 3 channel. Turn on my green. I can see my green channel. Turn off my green and see my DAPI channel. And once I use auto scale down here, I can see that. So this will give us single channel cubes to eliminate any crosstalk or bleed through if we use the multi channel capture cube to automatically acquire two to three channels. Again, this will eliminate the bleed through.